Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the Ethanol Producer Magazine video podcast. I'm your host, Anna Simmet. We are here live at the International Fuel Ethanol Workshop and Expo. I am here with Katie Schroeder of Ethanol Producer Magazine and our special guest, Russell Key of Tranter. Russell, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Yeah, so I think to begin, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself and what your role is at Tranter and what Tranter does? Well, I've worked for a trainer for quite a long time. I've been there for 28 years now. Um, I've done a little bit of everything for trainer. I started out uh, kind of low and worked my way up and uh, been in the ethanol industry now for probably about 22 years. And uh, my current role at uh, trainer is I'm the ethanol sales manager for North America. Mm -hmm. um, I do cover part of it. We have another uh, gentleman named Quinn Kearney who is uh, handles kind of the north and the east of uh, US. I handle south and west. And uh, we split it up and we just kind of uh, go at it together. Um, but uh, between the two of us, we have probably about 40 years of experience uh, in the ethanol industry and uh, working on heat exchangers. Oh, okay. Nice. So that's what, that's what Trainer does is heat exchangers. Yeah, we do plate and frame heat exchangers for the ethanol industry and we also do for other industries as well. But uh, one of our biggest markets is the ethanol industry. Okay, awesome. So tell us, what's what's new with you guys and what have, what have you been up to? Well, um, we here probably since the beginning of the year, we've had a lot of, uh, of uh, plant expansions that we've been working on. Um, a lot of plants have come to us uh, looking to maybe do some more, you know, up their production uh, so that they can increase the production to uh, produce more alcohol. Um, we work with a lot of different uh, plants or engineering firms um, to do that and to kind of help them out in that area. Okay. So um, is Trainer a very big company? Trainer is a global company. We are worldwide. We do have uh, facilities uh, in Brazil and, and Sweden um, around the world and so we do a lot of different things for a lot of different companies. Cool. So tell us, what does a heat exchanger have to do with increasing ethanol production? Well, a lot of the plants, when they want to increase their rates, um, the ethanol, the, the heat exchanger can be a little bit of a bottleneck sometimes. So if they want to up their rates and uh, maybe flow more, um, sometimes the heat exchangers have to be a little bit bigger. So we help them with that, whether that is uh, even on the front end. So if they expand some of the, or upsize the, the front end, uh, which is the beer mash, the mash coolers in that process, um, sometimes they do that with fermentation as well, um, but uh, it leads to a lot of different uh, applications that you have to expand the heat exchangers uh, to make them bigger so that uh, it will actually flow a lot better through the process. Um, so it just, it just helps out all the way around. Okay. So explain a little bit more up to us about how the process works. Well, the process, um, a lot of times with the ethanol plants, we uh, uh, they'll come to us with uh, different projects that they have to when they start flowing more. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to get their flow rates and their current temperatures so that we can actually size the heat exchanger correctly. Um, a lot of the plants uh, expand their beer mash exchangers to get more temperature out of them, um, which reduces uh, the temperature going into the mash cooler, which helps them reduce maybe uh, some of the some of the temperature that goes in there, it helps out when it goes into fermentation as well. Um, we've seen a lot of expansions with fermentation. We've seen a lot of uh, additional fermenters uh, that customers or plants have purchased uh, to help in that area of production. And so uh, we expand fermenters to get better temperature out of them um, because the cooler you can keep the fermenters, the better off they are. And the more production and the more alcohol they can actually make. So when you start talking about how to increase these and how to make them better. You can do it on one end, you still have to do it on the back end as well because in distillation, there's quite a few heat exchangers in distillation when you start talking about the sieve feed economizers, the 200 proof coolers, the regen coolers, the vent condensers, regen condensers. A lot of that that they do on the front end uh, eventually falls to that to where maybe they can't get as much production through in distillation so they have to expand them because the pressure drops go up. So we have to get their pressure drops down or get their temperatures down um, or get some of the temperatures even actually hotter than what they need to be. So there's a lot that goes into uh, 
um, trying to size out a heat exchanger, even if it's new applications. We've seen a lot of new applications in distillation. Um, we've worked with a lot of different engineering firms um, to add on some more applications for these plants so that they can produce more and make more cleaner, uh, better alcohol. Mm. So. Super interesting. Okay. So I'm going to throw this question at you. You've been in the ethanol industry a really long time. What would you say is the biggest change in terms of what you do from, you know, say when you started to now? Um, well, I mean, that's a good question. I'm not really sure where to go with that, but, uh, um, I mean, I've been doing this a long time, so, I mean, you know, I, I went into the ethanol industry in 2002, and, and I actually worked on a lot of heat exchangers in that industry. Um, and uh, now to be in sales, I mean, it's, it's uh, there's a lot more engineering that goes into this. Um, and with Tranter, I mean, uh, we have, we are the OEM for, for the heat exchangers in most of these ethanol plants that are out there. And uh, we have probably one of the best ethanol teams, I think, in the market um, to be able to help size the heat exchangers correctly, um, to help be able to figure out uh, any issues or problems that they're having with them. Um, Malcolm Cagle is our engineer. Um, he's been with Trainer for 35 years. Wow. And so when you start talking about having the knowledge and the background um, to be able to help the plants to uh, figure out issues that they're having or being able to up their flow rates or make more alcohol, I mean, our, our engineers, um, he's one of the best. He's one of the best in the industry. And... Um, you know, when you, he was one of the first ones that started out back when the ethanol plants were being built back all the way to 2002. Mm -hmm. He worked hand in hand with uh, ICM um, helping to design these plants and design the heat exchangers that went into these plants. And so to have that kind of knowledge and have that kind of uh, capability to fall back on when you're, when plants need help, um, it's, it's one of the greatest things that you can have in order to help them. Yeah, absolutely. Experience so. matters. Definitely. Yes, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. So it's um, you know myself and Quinn, we have uh, we have a lot of years' experience um, in the ethanol industry. Not only just working on the heat exchangers. I mean, we've been hands on with a lot of these because that's how we came up. Um, I started doing field service for Trainer in 2002 and uh, worked on heat exchangers uh, out in the field for over 10 years. And so to have that kind of hands-on knowledge to know what happens when something goes wrong with it or to be able to look at a gasket and tell a customer maybe what's happening with that gasket and how it's failing, yeah. it's very, very critical for them because then we can help them solve the problem so they don't have any more issues. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. And I I'm curious if you have like a sentence um, that just kind of sums up. Uh, what the what the value proposition is of Tranter, of your experience, of your technology. Um, one thing that you would want an ethanol producer listening to this to take away from everything we've talked about uh, this afternoon. I think uh, one sentence would be, Trainer is the OEM with the most experience on our heat exchangers. Yeah. I mean, when you look at uh, Tranter's Experience. I mean, we're probably between three guys. We have 75 years of experience on heat exchangers. Wow. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's hard to beat. But it is. It is. <laughs> well, awesome. Before we wrap it up, Russell, is there anything else that you want to add? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the podcast and telling us more about Trainer. I've learned a lot and really enjoyed it. Thank you yes. very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so absolutely. And to our viewers, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.